prescribed nihilist M. Tisticlov arrived at the village of Y to act as a tutor to the daughters of the merchant Zivotovsky after spending four years in Siberia for the heinous crime of insulting the Tsar and, incidentally, 27 counts of rape. One spring night, following a disputation on the subject of whether the Turks should be slaughtered to a man or merely forcibly russified in the parlor of the widow Kornilovna, a drunken Tisticlov disturbed her samovar, prompting her suitor, Captain Kokfondlovich to challenge him to a duel. The two desperate men met on a birch draped island in the midst of the swollen river Rob with their seconds and the beguiling Kornilovna observing from a nearby carriage, when offered the choice of swords or pistols. Tisticlov suggested they instead duel with words, for this he was beaten about the head and shoulders by the enraged artillery captain, and told he would duel with pistols or die like a dog on that very spot. Bleeding badly, Tisticlov threw away his shot, firing into the water. The captain took precise aim, prepared to deliver the coup de grace to the young nihilist when the young monk Rapinal burst forth from the tree line and demanded, in the name of God, that the men stop the proceeding and reconcile then and there, moved, Kok von Levich approached his foe to embrace him, upon which Tisticlov stabbed him in the throat with a letter opener, <coughs> killing him. The victorious Tisticlov proposed marriage to Kornilovna and was gladly accepted, but before any wedding could be carried out, died of consumption the next night. The widow Kornilovna went mad with brain fever and drowned herself in the winter of that year. Rapinal, disgusted, withdrew entirely from society only to be sodomized to death by bandits while returning to his monastery some three years later.